Hey guys, welcome to Marine Life, where everything is marine life. Whether it be saltwater fish tanks or boating, we do it all here. We love the ocean. And today we got a special thing. We ordered a fish that is hard to come by these days, actually. This fish used to be $25 when I started this hobby 20 years ago. $25. Now, this fish, it's literally some place is six hundred dollars. Fifteen minutes later, it is a yellow tank. Holy wow! And this is not a biota captive raised fish. This is actually a well caught yellow tank. I was able to attain him from Doctor Reese Quarantine Fish. You can look him up. He's a good size too. Nice coloring on him. I mean, he's not even, he's a little bit stressed right now. So as you know, the rule is we have to put him in here for 30 minutes to get that to the, to the tank itself. So for my quarantine setup, I always do, I mean, I got this a little bit different, but I got PVC pipe I have to bring in and I'll show you in a minute. Big tumor from the hide in. I'm not sure if I'm medicating him because he already came quarantined, but sometimes things slip, so I'm, I'm not sure, but I know he's gonna be here for a few weeks at least, so I can figure out what's going on with my big tank. Um, but let me just give you guys a tour how I did this. So I have a sponge filter. I love this because they trap a lot of bacteria. And I got, I got one power head right there. Always good with tangs. I like flow. Right now, I haven't put in my uh, tubing yet for it. And another thing I like, I like these. I like these sea chems. They're pretty cool. This is a tidal wave 35. They're pretty cool because you can put has one filter in there. And the cool thing about these is that little pop up tells you when it's dirty, change it, and they're top skimming filtration. The tank's only a 20 gallon long. I like to use 20 gallon long for tanks, especially. They got room to swim. So we'll leave them here um, for a while, for about a half an hour, 45 minutes to get committed to the water. Like I said, this litter just got running this morning and I'm pretty good about setting emergency tanks up this quickly. Um, I'll show you some other things in a minute, but right now we're gonna go to the store and pick up a couple supplies to get this tank to function great and to keep it safe. All right, guys, let's go to the store. So guys, I'm blessed to live in Orlando area. So I got Top Shelf Aquatics and Worldwide Corals on Loma, all about 30 minutes away from me. Depends on a good day, maybe 20, 25 minutes. But I'm also blessed that literally across the street from where I live at, I have an assault water aquarium tank that also carries a bunch of stuff, uh, supplies mainly, and fish. They do fresh water too, so they're not really get a lot of selection of corals like worldwide corals do or top shelf. But I've been coming here for years and I like these guys a lot. They'll be take care of me. Um, like I said, it's really easy for me to go. It's literally across the street from my house. So when I need stuff like this. I'm in a pickle. I just run to them real quick and hopefully they. Uh, got what I need so but when I go into now and pick up the supplies that we need to jumpstart this emergency tank so I hope this helps I hope this video helps some people out there and get this tank ready Guys, here we are. See that aquarium? It's a pretty neat place. Alright, so there's always not to find bacteria. I like to buy the uh, live stuff, but 
They don't have any. Dr. Tim, one only as well. So I have that. I got a quick tour around here. So, so this, this is hot water. Yeah, of course, fast. Kind of cool. Ooh. That's a cool rass. Really nice. Oh, I like them toast too. They have some corals. So. This is a cool pool. Look how big that thing is. Pretty awesome to see that. It's the only one I've ever seen like that. It's ma massive. Yeah, they got a bunch of stuff here. It's pretty cool. Got some turtles if you like turtles. So I got Tyler 35, I was talking about that used for my tank. And I got all the way to 110, so. Look at all this stuff here. A few moments later. So guys, I've just been informed that the Fritz Turbo Start for salt water, they don't have any. Um, they do have the Fritz non-turbo start, which is still bacteria, but it takes it's not as quick, but a little tour, a little current to have here. So I put it on screen. Hours later. So we'll see. So I may take just some. Um, I may just take the Fritz 9 and use that. And maybe get some. Uh, so this is um, four ounces per five gallon. It's a 20 gallon, so we need 16 ounces. This bottle is only 8 ounces. Even though it says treats are 20 gallons, you gotta be careful of that because the bottom does take your new system is four ounce per five gallons, right? So we need the bigger bottle here that four ounces, so four or five gallons, 10 be eight, 20, 16 ounces, this six ounces. So we need this for the new 20 gallon. For 20 gallons, you need this size right here. Um, this is a 16 ounce bottle. I've used it before. This is pretty good stuff. It's just lower. It's only one fish. Um, we could try that. I know I'm pretty sure he'll be okay because I'm actually having another system. And I'll show you guys um, what we do. All right, guys, just finished shopping in there. Uh, I got a few things in there. So, so I went with the Fritz line. A lot of bacteria in here. And I got some meds. This is for the big tank though. And for him, most, another thing that's important is starting up emergency tank. You wanna throw one of these in. This is ammonia alert badge. Put in a glass, I'll show you how to do it. And I'll tell you if, you know, it's not like 100%, but it starts to tell you that the water's, you know, climbing up there. It's only one fish. But we're gonna see now, show you the rest of the guys how to set the rest of the stuff. All right guys, so, 
So let's start preparing. Well, the first thing I want to do actually for put the ammonia badge is let's see where the salt is at. All right. One eternity later. It says that my salt is at one, two, four, one, two, three. About 77 degrees, 78, it's good. One, two, three is not bad, I'll take it. Not one, two, five, but we're about late. Remember, just emergency situation. He comes, I think he's at 1.21 when I ship him out, so very cool. So we're good, one, two, three, 1 1.2, 1 1.023, so literally we're 78 degrees. That's, that's a good place to be at, so. Second start I'm gonna do is boom. A few minutes later. All right, so, that, so I put it in a side glass here where I can see it and it'll, it'll alert me. So right there, boom. All right, so here my PVC piping that I told you about. I'm gonna drop these in. Put this over here for now. Two very boring minutes later. Trick that I do. That I've learned over the years. That's why I like the tidal wave ones. The tidal waves come with a bag of uh, media in it and it absorbs bacteria in it. So I've had it my established 40 breeder in here. You can see it's nice and wet. It's only been in for 24 hours, but you know what? It helps with start jump starting the tank. Usually you keep them in there for long term. And I know that tank is clean, so I'll put it in there. Boom, all right? And now hopefully all that bacteria that's been in my big tank has some of it in there. And with the... Uh, a little longer than a few minutes later. So hopefully with the fritz, now we put it in, we should be able to uh, get this tank jump started. And I do have a light. One shift later. I just shake it down, shake it again just in case for a certain point. So, so, like I said, I like to use the turbo start, but didn't have any, and I don't want to dry 30 minutes to get it. Come back when this stuff works, this is good. You can see all that stuff coming out that's off on the bottle. It's back to the bottle. So what I do too is take a little step, I just dump it a little bit. This is actually uh, 13 bucks too, so it's not too bad. The other one costs like double the price. So the water, and I'll shake the water in here a little bit. All right, so got that done. It will be cloudy. Like I said, that's the only thing, but it's for the emergency, not for you know, looking pretty. So, so we got all set up. She's been already sitting for her for 40, what? 45 minutes, I think, floating already. So it's time to unleash the beast. Much, much later. The way I try to get all my uh, fish out, I usually I use a bucket, because you don't want to pour that water directly in from the bag. So I'm gonna just release them like this very softly and it goes swims away. Hopefully it doesn't go hide now. A little bit stressed right now, so what I do is I just shut the lights off to reduce stress. So I do have a light I put in the tank so it gets the nose, but for now he'll be here and like I said he is a wild caught yellow tang. And I can't thank Dr. Reef quarantine fish enough for Give me the specimen, they're not easy to find, they're very hard, and when they do, they're very expensive. Um, so I'm kind of blessed that he found one for me, and again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a while. Thank you.